I remember the days of Afterburner in the arcade. I used to play that game all the time, until one day, the T-1000 came looking for me in the arcade at the Galleria and would have killed me if the former governor of California didn't save me. Was that me, or was that John Connor? I constantly mix up our lives. But that's not the point. The point is, Afterburner is a long-time Sega series that was mega popular in the 90s arcades and the classic Genesis. And after many years on the back burner, the game got a legitimate sequel that was ported to the PSN and Xbox Live Arcade, allowing people to bring the fun home. Afterburner Climax falls right in line with the other games in the series. It is a fast-paced air combat game. You get to take to the air in one of three ships, each unique and totally awesome. The FA-18E Super Hornet, the F-14D Super Tomcat, and the F-15E Strike Eagle. You can choose their paint schemes and the music, even playing Afterburner 2, and then you take to the sky. The main arcade mode is fast, chaotic fun. You go through a series of levels where lining up in front of you are tons of enemy fighters, jets, and helicopters. They are all gunning for you, so you have to shoot and avoid. Managing your throttle and brake is essential to success. You can use machine guns or lock on with missiles, but avoiding is most important. You will learn to do a barrel roll and learn quickly, or you won't last long. The controls feel responsive, never feeling like you are not in control. The game has a nice amount of challenge, but not cheap challenge from controls, but just legit arcade challenge. Like Star Fox, the path is not linear, having you make decisions as to which level to take at some points. This gives the game more replay value, but the game gives great replay value in other forms. There are EX options. These unlock extra missiles, easier lock-ons, no smoke trails, or they can be used to make the game harder. These are unlocked by completing certain objectives. And there is a score attack mode, having you focus just on points. Afterburner Climax is a great update to a memorable series. It updates the graphics, which are beautiful and give some new features, but keep the same tight gameplay intact. All arcade nuts need this game. As with anyone with memories of the early 90s, it is fast, fun, and very memorable. Zebra's military strength has been neutralized. They're calling for a truce. The nuclear war has been prevented. Zebra's troops have retreated to the borders. 